Brothers and sisters, I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Dennis Marshall, and I'm here to present to you with a devotional entitled, Never Give Up Hope. May you be blessed. You know, we live in an age and time when we want to have things done instantly. We want to travel the road of success without hindrance, unhindered. Thus, when a little trial comes our way, a little setback, a little roadblock, when the cars are stacked against us and we see no window nor door of escape, we tend to lose hope and give up on life. And this was the situation with the psalmist David. He found himself in a hard place and he did not know what to do. He was depressed. He had no friend to cheer him up, to give him hope. He had no prophet who was friendly enough to advise him and to help him relieve his pain and suffering. And so he wanted to give up on life. He sat down one day and penned these two soul-searching questions. The first question was, why my soul are you downcast? And the second question was like the first question, why so disturbed within me? Psalms 43.5. He wanted a solution for his depression. He wanted someone who had the ability and the power to lift him out of the miry clay in which he was sinking and establish his feet on a firm foundation. And when he reflected, he found that answer, that solution in God. And thus he ends the Psalms on a very positive note when he says, Put your hope in God, for yet will I trust him, my Savior and my God. The story of the woman whom the Bible describes as a woman with a bleeding problem is instructive. She had that problem for 12 years, and she spent all of her money on doctors, but the problem got worse, not better. She was penniless, but she still had hope. She had no friend to help her out, but she still had hope. She was disappointed with the doctors who failed her, but she still had hope. Then one day, she heard about Jesus, the Messiah, the master healer. And what she heard about Jesus was so impressive that she said to herself, if I can get close enough to him, to touch him, to touch his clothes, I will be healed. And so the time came when she had the opportunity for Jesus was in the neighborhood. But the crowd was so thick, she couldn't get through to Jesus very easily. But she persisted and she pushed her way through the crowd, despite the opposition, despite the difficulty. And she got close enough to Jesus to stretch forth her hand to touch his clothes. And as she touched his clothes, instantly she was healed. Now, had she given up hope when she was penniless, she would not have been healed. Had she given up hope when the doctors disappointed her, she would not have been healed. So for me, the message is very clear. We should never give up hope. As long as we have breath in our nostrils, we should keep trusting God and believing in Jesus. Even though we're not seeing any progress in life, even though we're not seeing any healing after praying so long for healing, still we must hope and trust in God. For we don't know the time nor the hour when Jesus will come through for us. So when you feel depressed, when you feel discouraged, when you feel that there is no one to turn to, put your trust in God. And remember the words of the prophet Isaiah, who in Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31 says, Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount on wings as eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not be faint. Never give up hope. Thank you.